Welcome back to Wolfenstein, The New Order. We need to fire a cannon to breach Death's Head's compound. That's hard to say. Death's Head's. Death's Head's. Death's Head's. As you make your way to the cannon there, you're heading in fast and the currents are bound to be strong. Stand by, Cap. Readying the payload. We are getting close. 200 meters. 100 meters. Fifty meters. This is the day. Could monologue at me all you want, I'm still gonna kill you. I think we got enough stuff. that did something.
I think shotguns might be good for here. Really just can't beat these rockets. For a second I was thinking they're a grenade launcher, but no, they really are rockets, aren't they? Oh yeah, they're even called rockets in the ammo. Seems to be working. Kind of slowly. Let's try this. can't break that. That's all of them. I want to know what's in here, though. Oh, it's probably just a way to go if you want to be stealthy. I think it just leads back to the same room. Oh, hello. Someone's still in there. Legacy. I have lived into existence. New age. And 
Whatever. I'm still gonna kill you. Style points. More style points. Alright, there's all my rockets. Oh, you can get behind him and then get on this mounted gun. Oh, shit. I thought I was overlooking the room I thought I had cleared. No, it's not cleared at all. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try a different tactic with this scene. I've tried it probably six times now from the front, and I don't know why it worked so well the first time, but it's not working now. So, the key thing is that there's a lot of heavy units, and I'm using my rockets on them, and I tend to run out of rockets before I've dealt with all the enemies. So I think I'm gonna save my rockets for just the enemies right in front of me, and save the super big robot in the center of the room for a bit later because I kind of need these rockets for the other enemies. So instead of taking them head on, let's just go around the back, I suppose. Switch this to the right mode. <clears throat> yeah, let's go this way. Like, if I come in here without rockets, I'm just dead. I've tried it a bunch of times. this go? Oh! Ooh. Hmm. Nah. Nah, I'm good. Actually, if they're coming this way, I could throw some grenades in there. That'd be pretty good. Oh, I got- I picked up more rockets at some point, didn't I? Or maybe it's just because I haven't shot very many of them. No, they're not moving. Yeah, they're gonna tear me apart. Um... some progress. Shit. Come around the corner, my friend. Oh Christ, I think it'd come here. I didn't think it'd fit. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think the good tactic here is just to move around a bunch. Don't try to attack from only one angle. Deal with that big robot. All right. Not sure what I should use against it now. Wrong mode. Weird stuff happened with the sound there. Someone coming from behind me. Oh, hi. There we go. Please die. This is a really hard room. I think I got it though. Shutting down your motor faculties, you'll find it harder and harder to move. There we are. Ovi, the Kali will dich tun. Ich bin beschäftigt. Ich bin ein Berlin und den letzten Dreckshaufen zu beseitigen, den Captain Blaskovic vor unserer Tür hinterlassen hat. Ich habe ein Geschenk für dich, mein Schatz. Wörtlich. Ich liebe Geschenke. Zeig's es mir. Dir zeige ich doch beide. Oh nee, dein Geschenk ist kostbarer als alles, was ich mir hätte erträumen können. Darf ich ihn für dich aufschneiden? Gerne. This woman is my life, you understand? My everything. Warm blood, the smell. Oh, baby! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, there is. That shrapnel. Search is how much abuse that Blazkowicz can take. I mean, just had him stabbed with a meat hook and then stabbed with a knife, and then the knife was pulled down to slice open a very, very big chunk of their insides, and they're full of some sort of toxin something, a par paralyzing agent, whatever it was. So remember when Blazkowicz cut out a large part of their arm to get rid of the uh, to get rid of the numbers that were tattooed on their arm from the prison camp? Just cut a huge chunk of their skin out and didn't even put a bandage on it. Remember that? Yeah. Copter is ready when you are, Blazkowicz. Soon as you get our people out of the compound, we'll swoop in and pick you up. Ah! William. What happened to you? You bleeding? After Seth got us out from the cells, we thought we would be escaping all on our own. Hood to see ya, Blaskovich. Jesus, a hoya, man. Let's get out of here. Kinder, let's, let's go. Lloyd, Lloyd! I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a little... What a Blaskovich, help me out. where people can go and live happy. I believe so too. Not for me and for you. I think today we meet for the last time. Captain Blaskovitz. Still fighting after all these years. I remember your friend. I savor his memory. This is a particularly disturbing scene, by the way. Flashback to um, the extraction. We must learn that this is pointless instinct, not fit for the master race. Hoch, hoch, auf die Platte! Like you, much pain is death and destruction. I 
would ask you to consider. In the end, we will be judged. Not by what we have destroyed, but what we have created. First. Oh. Can you grasp the splendor of it? The intelligence of the human brain? Amalgamated with the efficiency and obedience of the machine. My mission now, my quest is to end Fergus's suffering, as it says. Yeah, this is, it's a really interesting choice to make it so that my friend, who I obviously share some responsibility for, some guilt for, because I, it was my choice that, well, partially my choice, and of course, mostly Death's Head, their choice to kill Fergus. But, you know, but I'm sure Blaskowitz feels some guilt for that choice, even though they had to make a choice and it would have killed somebody, but still can't help but feel something for that. And it's both really disturbing and kind of brilliant and also hilarious and weird. I mean, it's it's outright silly that my friend's brain was extracted and is now being used to power the intelligence of a machine that's trying to kill me. Like, that's just such a ridiculous mustache twirling villain Nazi kind of thing. But also at the same time, it's really disturbing. Chit, chit, chit. Do I have any weapons? Not really. I need to collect equipment. Well, got a lot of grenades, that's for sure. Is there not a weapon? Do I need to do this with grenades? There we go. Fergus. You in there? We need to take care of that shield. Well, I'm almost dead. Holy shit, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh, it makes holes through there with a laser gun. Let's wait for it to stop shooting. They force you to walk all the way down here. Oh shit, across, and then... Across here! Alright, let's go. Oof. One down. Your court is endless, Captain. Honest hard working men on board that Zeppelin? Men with families? Have you no shame? A shocking display of evil. Thank 
think I'll be okay. Yeah, we're fine. There goes the shield. In a second. Wait, they still have the shield? What's left? Oh, the center one? Oh, shit. Uh, hmm. Well, I guess I gotta go back up? Or... Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, there's the final one again. Yeah, I think I just need to shoot the center after this. I have very little health. Come on. There we go. So I guess you don't have to keep shooting that thing up there. Just gotta shoot Death's head a bit. We're not quite done, by the way, but done with this phase of the boss fight anyway. Okay. Well, I used up like all my ammo shooting up at that thing. Probably for no point, so let me um, get restocked here before I go down the hole. Here we go. relying on my auto-targeting for this because I can't even see it. How you doing there, Death's Head? Oh. 
Hey there. That is Wolfenstein, The New Order. I really liked that ending the first time I saw it. It felt appropriate that Blaskowitz would die, but that's based on the assumption that Blaskowitz did die, which does seem like pretty much the only reasonable assumption, right? I mean, he got blown up by a grenade within inches of them, and then said, yeah, blow up the whole compound while I'm here, with, I'm pretty sure, a nuclear warhead. By all reasonable assumptions, he was dead. And if that was the case, then I would think that's a very good ending. But I know that that's not the case, or at least I'm 99% sure of it, because for Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, I've seen Blaskowitz in the art for that, looking all kind of mecha, like they've been reconstructed, sort of. I know that's a spoiler, but I mean, that's it's in the advertising material for the sequel, so... Uh, yeah, I guess he's not actually dead, which makes me like this ending a lot less. I, I wish he did actually just die there. It feels thematically appropriate that someone who's so almost hilariously indestructible and unstoppable throughout the game would then die. But he doesn't, so that's not actually terribly interesting. Let's finish out with some thoughts on the New Order. Machine Games started with a base of a shooter. I mean, they took on the Wolfenstein franchise, which has a well-established history of being a shooter. I don't have that much experience with the Wolfenstein franchise. Most I've played is, I think that I think I only played the demo for Return to Castle Wolfenstein, and that's about it. And probably spent a couple of minutes playing the original Wolfenstein 3D. But I'm under the impression that story and characters has never been very high on the list of priorities for the Wolfenstein franchise until now. So Machine Games started working on this franchise, and they took that core. It's a shooter. It's always been a shooter, so they started with a shooter. And just with that aspect alone, they did a really damn good job with making this a good shooter. Ignoring everything else, if that's even possible. It's got everything that I like about a shooter. It's frantic and difficult and full of action and excitement. You know, it's just a fun, good time. But Machine Games also decided that they wanted to add more, more heart, more story, more character to it. And attempting to blend that with a shooter is pretty damn challenging. I mean, I, I feel like those sorts of elements are never going to sit perfectly, comfortably in with a shooter because... The formula of a shooter is just inherently very limited when it comes to especially connecting with characters because your verbs and everything you do in the game is all just shoot, kill, stab, explode. 
As far as what you can actually do in the game, that's what a shooter is, so trying to build connections with characters or care about the story, which tends to typically get in the way of the action, those are kind of at odds with each other, you know? Like, get the story out of the way, I want to shoot things. Because it's clashing with the formula of a shooter trying to have a story and characters in it. It's a difficult thing to do, and maybe it's not even possible to have those two things in the same game without some sort of dissonance, but either way, Machine Games has done pretty much as good of a job as I could possibly imagine. The characters are mostly a bunch of action movie tropes. You got the main guy, Blaskowitz, who's massive and beefy and practically unstoppable. You got the uh, magical Jewish technology guy, which I guess is sort of a trope? Magical Jewish technology guy. Is that a trope? I don't know, but it feels like one. You know, the the guy who can hook you up with super good tools. You've got the gentle giant, and you've got the person in this timeline, Wyatt, with PTSD and survivor's guilt, I think, from being the only one left alive. So the characters are a bunch of action movie kind of tropes, but that's pretty much exactly what you'd need for a game that's kind of ridiculous and is a shooter. It's all about action. You know, the ridiculous person that you rescue from the labor camp to get you magical technology. Well, you need that technology to defeat the Nazis who have technology far above what the resistance has. So like all of these things fit into place to make sense with the sort of game that they're trying to make. They're cheesy and silly, but it's a, you know, fun cast of pretty likable, tropey kind of characters. It's just kind of fun to spend time with them, so it works. All the cutscenes with the characters where you talk with them are all pretty punchy, they're pretty short. There's not that much dialogue so you don't get bogged down and spending too much time stuck in a conversation, but at the same time there's enough that you get to know the characters a little bit and kind of like them even if they don't have that much depth. The pacing in the New Order is also absolutely exceptional. They really keep things punchy and they keep scenes moving from one scene to another without dragging their feet in between with story stuff. Like, if you remember that scene on the train to Berlin, Germany, remember we ended that night with Blaskowitz and Anya having sex, and then I think everything went dark. We came back up and we thought we were still on the train, and I think we were for the beginning of that scene. We were still on the train, Anya gets up and walks over to the window, and then it just instantly cuts to being in a hotel room in Berlin, where all the movements and everything were the same, the camera didn't move, it's just suddenly, we're now in Berlin. Anya's looking out a window in Berlin, Germany, instead of on the train. Just that completely seamless cut. It was just beautiful, and that sort of punchiness and switching between major set pieces really quickly carries throughout the entire game. There's many scenes where you've kind of finished a, a big project, a big plan, you know, you've gotten the nuclear key codes or whatever, now it's time to do the next thing. And you come back to the home turf at the resistance base. And with those scenes, there's always kind of, okay, what are you going to do to establish the next major set piece, the next, the next major level and quest that Blaskowitz needs to do. You gotta set it up at least a little bit. You gotta get them from point A to point B. And typically they do that with something really quick, like an action movie kind of planning scene where everybody's in the same room, it's sort of shaky cam a little bit, and people are talking really fast, and they're just like, okay, here's the plan, we're gonna do this and do that, and Blaskowitz, you're gonna do that. And then, just like that, you're now starting the scene. It's really very punchy and very short, and just expertly done keeps the pacing really going. Overall, Wolfenstein The New Order, for me, is a damn good shooter and also a, an interesting and I think really good attempt at trying to mix heart and story and characters with the inherent ridiculousness of a shooter. And it results in something that's pretty weird in terms of tone. Sometimes funny, sometimes disturbing, sometimes fun, sometimes sad. It's, it's odd, but somehow it kind of works for me and I really enjoyed it. So, I hope you've enjoyed my playthrough of Wolfenstein The New Order. I'm certainly not done with the franchise. The next game I'm going to play is Wolfenstein The Old Blood or The New Blood? I think it's The Old Blood, which came out after this game, but it is actually a prequel. So, I hope you've enjoyed, and maybe I'll see you on the next playthrough.